What is going on YouTube? Reverse John Stanek from Johnny Radio here bringing you another top five on this glorious top five Friday. And guys, we're getting through the 2010s. We're halfway there and we're talking about the top five, my personal favorite albums of 2015. Great year in music history. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right to it at number five. Chasing Yesterday by Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds. Absolutely love this record. And it was one that caught me by surprise because I like Oasis. I'm not a huge Oasis fan and even less so on the brothers, you know, trajectory of their solo careers. But this album, I think, is Noel's uh, just shining uh, solo moment. It's, it's so great. And I love, like, there's really some jazzy influence here. And his vocals really soar just as much as his guitar playing on songs like River Man and The Right Stuff. Uh, just amazing grooves, amazing guitar playing throughout and uh, also the rest of his band employing some great saxophone licks on some of these songs. It's just, uh, it's high level and I wish he had some more albums after this that were uh, this good because I absolutely love it and that's just my number five. So now at number four, The Helio Sequence, their self-titled album from that year. Uh, this is um, not quite my favorite. It's probably my second favorite Helio Sequence record, but absolutely love this duo out of Seattle. And yeah, they're they're just so interesting. Their music, it's hard to like put into a box. I would just call it alternative. But uh, yeah, it's just amazing what they can accomplish with just being two guys, one who's a drummer, the other who plays guitar and sings. And, you know, they employ all these other sounds that create this huge wall of sound on songs like Upward Mobility, which is one of my favorites. And um, Leave or Be Yours is another just mesmerizing, beautiful track. And I think this really holds up as one of their best albums in their discography. So if you haven't checked it out, please do. But that is my number four. Now at number three. In Jesus' Name by Uprising Worship. Yes, this is a worship album just straight up, and I, it's one of my favorites. And yes, I am partial to this because I was a part of this project. And honestly, it's like of all the musical things that I've done in the past, this is the one that I'm most proud of, uh, quite frankly. It has just some of like the, the most inspired tracks that I've ever worked on, like Heart of a Servant and Blessed and Highly Favored and just every single track. And I, I got to work with just some spectacular musicians along the way who really added to this whole thing. And um just a lot of these songs we would play at Uprising Christian Church back in the day. And uh, yeah, I think that these songs really stand the test of time. Even if you're not into worship music, I think you should check it out because there's really some some just beautiful uh, words of encouragement and, uh, and wisdom and truth that come through in the lyrics because it was just all very much inspired by, uh, you know, serving others and uh, going on mission trips back in the day. Uh, my wife and I went on a mission trip to Guatemala, totally changed my life and uh, my outlook in many ways. And I think that comes through in some of these songs. So uh, I hope you check it out. And uh, if not, that's okay. But that's my number three. So now at number two, Crush by Lettuce, the funk band of all funk bands. And I, I think this is their best album. It's just so good from the opening track of The Force to uh, Phyllis, which you saw was on my top five songs of the year uh, just a couple weeks ago. But yeah, it, like just so many amazing grooves on this record, like Get Greasy and Chief and like really fun song titles. Uh, of course, Sounds Like a Party to Me. Uh, one of the few songs that actually has vocals on the, the album is also great and really fun. But yeah, you don't need vocals with a band this good. The horns are amazing. The drums by Adam Deitch, like just everything is top notch here. And uh, if you haven't had a chance to see Let Us Live, please do because they they sound just like they do on the album. Amazing. And that's just my number two. So now at number one,
There's a Light by Liz Weiss. Man, this is just an incredible gospel record. And, uh, you know, I hate to put it in a box because it's so much more than that. But uh, just like with the Uprising Worship album, I think you'll get a lot spiritually out of this record if that's what you're looking for. But even if it's not, just like the throwback uh, just vibe of songs like, um, you know, Enclosed by You and Empty Me Out, which has just this really cool, uh, warm sounding keyboard riff that uh, just invites you in. And it feels like a song from the 60s. And then Liz just... One of the all-time great vocalists, I put her up there with any of the great female vocalists of, you know, just a throwback era, but she just has this timeless quality on songs like the title track and the opening song, Abide. There is not a weak track on this album. You can tell her heart and soul is in it. And uh, I, another artist that I've had the chance to see live, and she is just the real deal. And uh, yeah. Just one of my favorite albums of that decade, quite honestly. Uh, so yeah, what a year in music. So guys, that is my top five. Let me know in the comments below what you think. What would your top five be? And if you're so bold, leave me a top 10 because yeah, there's just always so much great music if you know what to look for. And that's what we're all about here at Johnny Radio, discovering and rediscovering great music. So guys, thank you so much for watching. We got more uh, album reviews, top fives every Friday, so much more. Thank you, and as always, Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and be sure to ring the bell for notifications so you can always see great quality content like you're seeing on the screen right now. Thank you so much for supporting Johnny Radio, and I'll see you soon.